Hey everybody, it's Lynn Pratt. Thanks so much for joining me to see how I painted these large one wash wet into wet watercolor paintings. I'm going to bring you through the process from beginning to end, starting with how I came up with the reference photo and inspiration to do them right from the beginning. I recently did a painting for my online school of a buoy in water. I had so much fun painting the water and was so inspired by the colors that I used, I decided to make it into a much larger drawing and just focus on all the different areas of the water. This was the original reference photo that I took. However, the colors were very muted and dull, so I used Photoshop to change the hues of the color to something a lot more interesting. Then I cropped smaller areas of the water to really just look at the different patterns and different ways that the water flowed, and I was truly inspired. I used Holbein watercolors and made this little color chart to figure out the different colors that I wanted to use. I did not use the neutral tint that I show on this chart. Then I got out my brushes and got everything ready to start my painting. With my images that I altered in Photoshop, ready to go. I got my Stonehenge Aqua White Cold Press 140 pound paper ready to go. I taped it down to my board and fully wet the paper to do a large wet into wet wash. I then added multiple layers of Holbein watercolors Indigo, Prussian Blue, Phthalo Blue Red Shade, Peacock Blue, and Marine Blue. I loosely went off my reference photo However, I did not try to follow it in a photorealistic manner. I was just using it as inspiration for the colors and the way that the water moved. I added all of my colors in, adding layer after layer, really building up the wash of color. I was working pretty quick so that I could get everything in before my paper started to dry. If an area started to dry, I just added more water or more paint to that area to try to keep all the washes flowing together. Also, if an area got too dark, I went back and lifted slightly with water in my brush, really just trying to keep every area wet. I just kept going, building layers and layers to add all the different dimension and values into the painting until I was happy with what I had. At that point, I just stepped back and let the entire thing dry. This whole painting was done with one wet into wet wash while it was all wet at once. This is a half sheet 15 by 22 painting size, so you do have to work pretty quick to do it at this scale and keep everything wet while you're going. This is the second painting that I did at the same 15 by 22 half sheet size. I wanted to leave a lot more of the white of the paper in this one, but I used the same colors and same layering technique that I did in the first. But you can see that because everything is done in water, the way that you apply the colors and the way that you let them blend together totally changes the whole look of the painting. I really enjoyed painting this way and found it super relaxing and I really hope you try it and see what you think. Thanks so much for joining me in this watercolor tutorial. I really hope you try this large wet into wet wash style of painting. Make sure you tag me if you post it so I can see what you did. Thanks so much. Let's paint.